What's up welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I am Paul. Thanks for joining me. What we're going to talk about today is um, welding tubing. And I've got some uh, one and a quarter inch thin walled steel tubing here. And we're going to weld up a simple T-joint like this. Now in order to do that, as you know, you've got to cope that joint or cut what's called like a, uh, a fish mouth in it. Now I simply did this with a grinder. Nothing fancy, you don't need any uh, special jigs. I mean they help, they make things go quicker, but you certainly don't need them. With a grinder you can get yourself a nice tight fit. So these have been cleaned up with acetone and we're going to TIG weld them together. But what I want to concentrate on today is the beginning TIG welder. Somebody who maybe doesn't have the hand coordination skills to weld those joints all the way around that pipe. And I'm going to show you a way to do it that's really simple, super strong, and anybody can do it. So let me get geared up and let's go. All right, as you can see, I've got most of my gear on. I'll put the helmet on when I'm ready to weld. Wearing these arm sleeves, you want to protect yourself from all the UV rays that you possibly can. Now for today's weld, I'm going to be using my number 9 torch with a stubby gas lens and an on off switch. And I've got the Eastwood TIG 200 here set for about 55 amps. So let's get set up. We got our joints coped and ready to go. And we're going to get our tacks going first. So I'm going to use these magnets to hold everything in place while I get my tack. It's just a real simple way to hold things nice and square and where you want them. Now I know you can't see very well what's going on here, so I'm going to move the camera over. And when we go to do the actual welding technique, we'll bring in some arc shots. All right, we've got everything in place. We've got the torch ready to go. I hit the switch. You can hear the gas flow. Got my 1 16th inch filler rod. Let's get her tacked and see what we can do here. Alright, now we've got her nice and tacked up. Let's make sure we're square. Because I don't think we are at the moment. A little bit off. A little bit more. All right, now we're square. We'll throw in one more tack. I'm going to flip her over. And we'll be ready to weld her up. Are you ready to learn the technique? Shh. Don't tell anybody. We are simply going to do a series of tacks. Now 
that's really it folks that's my secret we are just going to do a series of tack wells And if you find yourself getting to be a little bit out of position, grab yourself a magnet, put the tubing where you're more comfortable, and get back into it. Alright folks, that's it for this episode of Adventures in Welding. TIG Welding Tube for the Absolute Beginner. Guess how many tries it took me before I got those out without uh, chewing those words up and spitting them out sideways. I won't tell you. But there's our product, our project, whatever you want to call it. No holes blown, everything's nice and smooth. I don't know if you can actually see down in that pipe, but there's a good penetration all the way through. Try it at home. You can do it. It's not that hard. Before I leave you, I just want to leave you with a little joke. There are two blondes standing at opposite sides of the lake. The first blonde yells across the lake, Hey, how do I get to the other side? The second one thinks for a minute. And then yells back across, You're already on the other side! Catch you next time.